Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video may contain copyrighted images being used underneath Fair Use Act for educational purposes. Before we get started with the um, Flat Earth Deceivers Part 2, I decided I'm going to play some clips in the beginning of my videos of Mark and his uh, media interviews. A lot of them understand a lot of his media interviews he ain't posting because they're just too embarrassing. Um, because people are calling him out on his bullshit. The ones he are po he is posting, he, edit out, he edits out uh, ludicrous shit, he says. And this one here, posted by Red Ice TV, they did a hack job on everybody. Made flat earthers look horrible. And then Mark, he had come, he had come to this page uh, before and um, he deleted his comment because people were calling him out on this. And you'll see why people were calling him out on this. But he deleted his comment here. And, um, you know, look, you even got Dirt coming here and supporting this page. I bet Dirt thinks this is a great freaking article, too, that this, uh, this uh, so-called media did on uh, Flat Earth. But understand what Mark is posting, he's, he's editing them. So you don't hear the crazy shit he's saying. So let's listen to some of this crazy shit that Red Ice did to, to the Flat Earth community. And understand, they did this edit job on this, and Mark came here and thanked them for this. Mark works for the media to help uh, make us all look like idiots. They all, uh, Mark, Patricia, anybody that supports them, they all, they all make us look like idiots. This clown, too. You'll be shocked. I'll leave the link. You watch the whole thing below. Because if, if this is, if all the world is a stage, then we're all on it together. It starts out small, which is, do you go to war? Do you commit hate crimes? Do you commit sex crimes? And I was kind of like this anyway before this happened, but I won't do anything malicious to anyone ever again. Yeah, of course, I've seen. Did you just hear Mark's bullshit? Let's back that up again. Do you commit hate crimes? Do you commit sex crimes? And I was kind of like this anyway before this happened, but I won't do anything malicious to anyone ever again. Yeah, of course, I've seen the curve. Do not hate crimes? Do you commit sex crimes? And I was kind of like this anyway before this happened, but I won't do... And there you have it, folks. Mark came back and thanked these people, and there were, and he pulled his message because uh, he knew we were on to his freaking bullshit. All right, let's get started with um, this... Uh, deceivers here you know this guy lives in Europe it doesn't make sense that you gotta have this guy in Europe uh, um, as the president and, and 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 head chairman I mean they couldn't even put it in his name or is it is it anything to have to do with the uh, the uh, organization as far as address contact information and stuff like that he's just a scapegoat a dummy they picked out of the crowd in the flat earth community so if they ever get called to the grill, it's going to go to this guy. But anyways, we've heard many a reason. We heard this guy was supposedly founded the idea of FE Corps, and it was created a month ago. That's all a lie. FE Corps was introduced when Rob Skiba did his experiment on Lake Michigan long ago and introduced this agent right here, this agent who works for the media, he used to work for a um, morning show. So that means he read the CIA uh, print right off the wire, lying to us all day after day on his morning shows, on radio, on TV. He's connected with Hollywood. You can uh, just uh, assume he's connected with Disney, too. He's a TV man. Does commercials, voiceovers, all that stuff. A lot of ties to media. Let's keep going here and let, let's listen to what he says here and pay close attention. Right. Yep. And it just made sense. Mike and I have been, like Mike said, you know, I, I was, I've been a part of FE Core since, you know, pretty much, I don't know, right after Rob and I did the Lake Michigan test. No. Uh, maybe, maybe even before that, I can't remember, but can't remember it was before that he's the one that introduced he's the one that's metatron he's the one that's controlling everything he's these guys he's these guys handlers rick hummer is jaron's handler bob's handler all these clowns handler and this guy's just a scapegoat 
so they can distance themselves or try to distance themselves from a, a company in the U.S. and act like they're independent researchers and flat earthers that are trying to make humanity better. You can see the bullshit and lies going around here. They can't keep their story straight when F.E. Core, the idea F.E. Core was conceived. We were told a month ago. That's all a lie. It was more like a year ago or almost a year ago. So let's keep going now. You got Bob. And like I say, Bob doesn't do no research. He's dumb. He didn't do no research for the show. He thought he could just come on here and wing it and lie to us. You'll see more of that in part two and part three. You'll see some of it here because he tries to tell you he doesn't have to follow us. He, they can't do the same thing churches do and just milk it for all for the, the 503 or 501c3 for money. The only difference between a church and FECOR is their name. They fall on all under the same bylaws. A F01C3 is a F01C3. Or 501c3. It doesn't matter what your scope is. You could pay all these people whatever they want. You could pay Jaron, Bob, everybody a $200,000 a year salary for their time for working. You just cannot pay them for board member meetings. <laughs> That's about it. So if they have a board member meeting on Skype, you, they can't get paid for it. But they can get paid for their time for doing research. Bob can use his LLC and bill uh, uh, FE Corps for his time, $150 an hour for an engineer and re a scientist time. <laughs> and that's what they're going to do, folks. This is all about money. This ain't all about exposing the flat earth and, and all the lies we've been told. No. This is about medical research, uh, um, agriculture. Why are they so focused on agriculture? I was sure would like to know how many vegans are on this board because this is perfect for the uh, pushing the vegan agenda, your agriculture ideas. I'll, I'll touch on that in another video. But um, let's uh, keep going here and listen to Bob. One other thing that has come up, you know, a lot of people say, well, Mike Kavanaugh is not, not – uh, you know the point of contact well again as we said mike is not a u.s citizen and one of the requisites uh, to be able to form a and that's just why it makes no sense you would use this guy as your president unless you wanted a scapegoat maybe distance you set yourself from a u.s company called metatron 501c3 nonprofit. Um, and this is a nonprofit research group, guys, not a church. I mean, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, we've been accused of this being a church. But, uh, no, it's, it has nothing to do with the church. It is uh, specifically for research. Um, and we are going to be set up as that. And we don't have to follow any guidelines about what we preach or any political agenda or anything like that. We... You do, too, have to follow guidelines about political agendas. You're very limited on pushing political agendas. Bob's a dumbass. Maybe he better go read the 501c3 laws. The same with churches. They're very limited on their political scope. They can't go out and create political commercials during election time. Bob's lying his ass off. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. They fall under the same guidelines as churches. The only difference is their name and the scope. Let's keep going here. Um, where to set up. They're going to try to explain to you why they decided to set this, uh, uh, the address up in the, in Indiana. Let's listen. There we are. You know, we talked about, well, should we set it up in Denver, where I am, um, or should we set it up in California, where Jaron is, um, you know, or whatever. We had a few options, and we figured that um, Indiana was probably the best place to set it up at, um, you know, for several reasons, and I won't go into those, but that... Every time there's something fishy, they won't go into it. 
They avoid answering questions. It's, it's obvious why they went to him. Because he's the head honcho here. He's the head honcho now. Rick Skiba used his experiment to bring this agent, Rick Hummer, into the flat earth community. That's what, that's what they did. And you see this clown. Let, let me go back here. Let me go back to the first clip here. And let's listen to this clown again. I said, you know, I, I was, I've been a part of FE Core since, you know, pretty much, I don't know, right after Rob and I did the Lake Michigan test. Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe even before that, I can't remember. But, you know, uh, that's how we all kind of started talking. And, you know, it's like uh, I said uh, at the conference, Jaron and I had spoke. I can't remember how long ago it was, but we had, I had so, told him it would be just awesome if there was a way that everyone could just work together and people weren't in competition of who was going to do this test first or that test first. And, you know, how could we draw people together? And then all of a sudden Mike's talking about it. And I'm like, man, that's, this is great. I mean, the, the, the minds started coming together and uh, connecting in the dots. Here we are, you know, the picture is right here in front of us and it's Evie Core Inc. And I'm, uh, like I said earlier, I'm honored to be a part of it. But I mm -hmm. there you go, folks. Oh, almost a year ago it was conceived. It wasn't just a month ago. Remember, this guy's um, um, tied to the control system. Rick Hummer and all these clowns now, they're all they're all the same pre people we're trying to fight. The same corrupt system we're trying to shut down. <laughs> they even joined up and be a church preach their bullshit get paid for it as long as they ain't discussing about board meetings they can't get paid for this because this would be considered a board meeting discussion <laughs> that's about all they can pay themselves for everything else they do all right yeah that was a bunch of bullshit where to set up? Yeah, Indiana. It makes sense in Indiana. We just can't tell you why. So, let's keep going here. What does the FE Core name mean? This is just, I found this whole thing just ridiculous. And it's just like a big joke to them. And, <laughs> um, and one of the first things that, that I saw addressed, and this was absolutely amazing, people seeing. I mean, I said it no less than five or six times at the conference. But they want to know what FE Core stands for. Um, and no, it doesn't mean Flat Earth Core. It means Field Engineers Core Group. Okay. Now, whether or not we've, we've decided on what C-O-R-E stands for, I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys can help me out with that. But as far as I know, I don't think there's any particular acronym for that unless I just am out of the loop. Well, I've actually said it on two different shows. So uh, if it's not correct, then I can stop using it. But I thought it was Field Engineers collectively observing and researching earth but if that's not correct then i'll stop saying that yeah well, so, sounds well okay I, to me. I think i think the, the the last four letters are basically what uh, what everybody wants you know <laughs> the, <laughs> I, like that, I always thought it was field engineers collective operation researching earth yeah that, that was the original but you know uh there's not I really. Like, an... I like throwing observing in there because. I yeah, think... the original sounded like uh, too much like flat Earth re uh flat Earth reset flat Earth research. Part of real science. So there you go. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. Jaren, ten points. Jaren, ten points. <laughs> right. So or a lot of be organizing, ready to eat. I don't know. We can we can decide whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> organizing ready to eat. see this is all a big joke for them they they made it big time they're gonna get federal grants and everything else that's what they're setting themselves up for that's what this is all about money folks and then this little clown Mike Cavanaugh comes to my page and tells me Jaron's not getting paid they can't get paid he's a freaking liar you can get paid for your time as long as it's not board duties so these guys can go out and research. It's just like Jaron's level level research or laser research he's doing at the, oh, wherever in California. I think it's the Delta or whatever they call it. Um, Jaron can, uh, can uh, you know, they could pay Jaron $10,000 for that first time. 
You see what I mean? They, they don't have to uh, uh, keep the salaries to a minimum. Pay whatever they want, and they're going to. I'll bet you they're all going to make at least $100,000 a year now as long as they get their federal grants. This is what this is all about. We'll find that out later on. So let's keep going here. Um, this next clip is a little long. But you're going to see it's very interesting. They explain why they don't want to mention flat earth. And they don't want to mention flat earth because then they freaking can't get federal grants. That's the whole reason. That's why they're bringing in all this other medical, agriculture, and all this other research. So they can get federal money. Once they get federal money, they're, they're the same part of the same system we've been fighting. In fact, they already are. They created the .org. These are members of the same system we're fighting now, folks. And if you can't see that, I feel sorry for you. And you're certainly not awake. But let's listen. It's groundbreaking for us because... Oops. This one. <laughs> Whatever you guys want to make it, you know, because uh, we're not sure either. But uh, it really doesn't matter <laughs> at this point. Well, you know, nowhere in you know, any information that anybody's been able to dig up on us, does it mention anything about <laughs> flat earth? Well, <laughs> you're right. It doesn't. Um, and we didn't feel that was necessary. For one, we didn't want to, um, everybody knows that there is a stigma to the words flat earth. Okay. And I, I personally feel, and, and, you know, anybody is free to disagree with this, but I personally feel that um, if we, if we leave the words, you know, flat earth out of our, our mission statement or anything like that, that this is what we're trying to prove, even though a lot of these experiments will, will lend credibility um, to, to the idea of the earth being flat and not rotating. Here's the problem. It won't lend any credibility because you won't be able to use the research provided by the secret scientists. You can't release their name. You can't release their work. So their work's going to be used for products. Just keep listening. Rotating and moving around and stuff like that. And we do have several experiments lined up for that. Um, I think that in order to keep it um, more credible in the eyes of the public and not have to take so much crap about it, um, that it's that it was honestly best that we didn't put that in there. And that's my opinion. Well, what do you guys think? Not, not, not so, so they're deceiving somebody. They're either deceiving the investors by not hi hiding the fact that we're actually flat earthers and we want to research and prove flat earth, or they're lying to us flat earthers. Either way, they're deceiving. They admitted they're hiding information about the scope of their organization. This kind of shit IPS does. Just more fuckery. These are, this is the problem with the dot .orgs. This is why anybody that's awake wants to get rid of that system. Let's listen some more because this clip goes on for about two more minutes. Um, no, about a minute and ten seconds. Not only that, but uh, the, the, the FE core group is not just about flat earth. You know, we are a science organization and science you know, uh, that's why we are field engineers and not flat flat earth. You know, that basically limits our uh, our, our 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 spectrum of uh, of research. If we if we just uh, if we are uh, and that that is why we are a field engineers group. Uh, Do you see how stupid this guy sounds? <laughs> wow! And now you see why they chose him as the chairman and. Uh, 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 president of FE Core. He's a scapegoat. Investigate as many fields of research in the science department. Then, you know, uh, there are a lot of things that we need to research, and, and that's why um, we have an agricultural sector, we have a, a medical uh, sector. We have a vegan sector. That I want to start researching in. You know, I've already made contacts for. for for professionals that they want to do a certain experiment in the medical field, you know, and if we if we use all those fields of research, then you know the, the knowledge that, that we can gather from that will be huge. Huge. You know? Did you mention horticulture and food? Listen to Mr. MC coming in there, Mr. Control. 
making sure everybody hits their talking points. This is why I say he's head honcho. He exposes himself all over the place. He exposed himself at the conference. He exposes himself here. Remember, he's the one that came up with that V-Core idea. And then he was shocked to think that, oh, Mike Cavanaugh and Jaron and everybody else was thinking of the same ideas as Mike Hummer or Rick Hummer. Mr. Metatron. I think I'll just call him Mr. Metatron from now on. Call Mark and Patricia Mr. and Mrs. Metatron. I don't know. Just utter bullshit these guys are peddling. Let's listen a little bit more here. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, this and it's products, you know, that can change lives. Products. Products. There, earlier, I seen a post. They said this isn't about products and, uh, and uh, or this isn't about, um, um, oh, what do you call it? Damn, I'm at a loss for words. Copyrights and, and or, uh, patents and stuff like that and copyrights. It's, this is not about patents. So what? They're going to create products? Let's listen to Mr. Hummer again. Huge, you know. Did you mention horticulture and food? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, this and it's products, you know, that products. change lives. Products that are going to change. Better. These little clowns right here are going to change our lives for the better. Make, by making products to make themselves and their company rich. This is a company uh, um, trying to make products and sell them and patent them. It's utter bullshit. Lies and deception. It's a sham. May not be shamrock, but it certainly is a sham. Last little clip here. About two minutes. Let's listen to this. And pay attention, I think, uh, yeah, pay attention, I think, Jaron, does he say it here? We'll see. It's This is a groundbreaking uh, group here, a groundbreaking organization that's going to make our lives better. Shit, we're all going to die first. I think, it's, I think it's groundbreaking for us because uh, for all of us, it's an answer for us as far as, you know, where do we go with this outlet and how do we collect all this information and You've got so many different people getting involved. Like you said, Bob, there's people in the background that, uh, you know, just because of their careers, they can't say anything. I mean, they 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 have to feed their a children. A dabber and, and cannabis uh, oil. I just think it's, <laughs> like you said, groundbreaking. But at the same time, FE Core, it, it is about it's about learning and experimentation and development. And if we can come yes. up with products that help, that's what we're, that's what our goal is. Products. Yeah, help. No, the, the the promo video basically said that you know it's we are researching and no the promo didn't say you're going to bring up products and patents. Results will be beneficial, and that's the whole idea. It it has to be beneficial and. Uh, knowledge about the flat earth is beneficial, but you know, uh, researching uh, uh, energy, free energy or medical, you know, that's that uh, that's all beneficial for everybody. And the same with agriculture. Well, it's passion yeah. over price. It's it's passion over price. Right now, nobody's getting paid for anything. This is a collective. This is this is we're ground zero here. This is that's you know, a this lie. Is just getting off the ground, and what we've already been discussing before this happened, and the things that we're about to do. Trust me, if they get. It uh, five million dollar federal grant they're all getting paid big time big time hundred hundred fifty thousand dollar salary who knows all of them they cook the books in all these dot orgs all the time you look at the numbers of these dot orgs and companies they're not accurate they're all lies you know these results are going to be posted these are you know we're not asking for money will we seek you know, funding, of course. Did you hear him say he's not asking for money? Will we seek funding? Of course. Jeez, you can't keep your lies straight, can you, Rick Hummer? He's a Hummer of a deal, isn't he? That's why we have a 501c3. But this isn't this isn't uh, something that, um, you know, anybody's earning a paycheck on right now at all. Right now. And remember, we're not going to be, uh, you know, securing patents and then hiding them from people and then selling them to the highest bidder like uh, NASA does or like these other organizations. So let's get this straight, Jaron. Jaron's talking out of his ass here. So Rick said you guys are going to create products, but you're not going to patent them? What a bunch of bullshit.
We'll see you all tomorrow for part three. Have a good day.